This is what we're making today, Tian Chu meat. This is a pork belly. We're gonna cut it in half. Then, we're gonna throw this in a pot of boiling water to remove its impurities. We're gonna boil this for about 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, we're gonna clean and wash this pork belly in a bowl of water. Now we're gonna tie this pork belly. While I tie this pork belly, I just want you guys to know I don't know how to tie this pork belly. In fact, I'm just freestyling this. This video should not be a reference on how to tie a pork belly in any way, shape, or form. But if you guys are too lazy to look for another way, this is the way I did it. When I got to this point, I didn't know what to do. So I just tied it into a knot. And then I tied it into a knot again. Next, in the hot pan or wok, we're gonna add in two cups of rock sugar. We're gonna fry and melt this until it changes into a fiery red color, like this. Then, we're gonna slowly add in one liter of water and this will be the base for our sauce. Next, we're gonna take out our pressure cooker. On the bottom of our pressure cooker, we're gonna lay out a bed of green onions and ginger. Then we're gonna lay our meat in and pour in our fiery sugar water. Now, we're gonna add in half a cup of Shaoxin wine, half a cup of dark soy sauce, one teaspoon of cloves, three star anise, three bay leaves, and one cinnamon stick. We're gonna cover this up and pressure cook it for one hour. After one hour, we're gonna release the pressure and see what we got. And this is our meat. We're gonna strain this sauce and then reduce it. Okay guys, so I kind of messed this up. Since the pork belly wasn't covered in bracing liquid while I was pressure cooking it, it didn't absorb the color I wanted to. So we're gonna leave it in the bracing liquid for an hour to absorb the color, like this. While taking the string off, you should let the pork belly cool down a little bit because it's very delicate. This is our sauce. We're gonna thicken this sauce by reducing it. This sauce has a lot of sugar content so it should turn into almost a caramel. Your sauce should coat the back of a ladle like this. Now for the garnishes. This is baby bok choy. We're simply gonna cut this into quarters. We're gonna blanch this in hot water for about two minutes. After 2 minutes, we're going to put this in the ice bath to give it a nice bright green color. Reheat it just before you're about to serve it. And for the final garnish, we're just going to saute these mushrooms with a little bit of salt. In the game, it used matsutake mushroom, but that shit's expensive. We're not using that. 